Hey everybody, John with OWL. I was about to shoot our exhaust install video and then it started raining, so lucky me. So I am suffering through the rain for you. So this, this is so you can have a, a sweet exhaust on your Sprinter van, so um, we'll love my way, thank you. Anyway, this is the OWL Storyteller. We're gonna build this into an absolutely insane build, but right now it is pretty much bone stock. For installing the OWL exhaust, which you haven't seen, you can check out a video where I explain all the advantages of the OWL exhaust. On this van, it's really, really easy. If you're doing it on a Revel, there's a bunch of stuff you have to take off first, like your gray water holder tube. You can either relocate it on the other side or just toss it. Uh, I will allow you to, um, what I'm gonna do is put that either here or at the end of the video, I haven't decided. Uh, I'll put a time code on the video so you can jump around if you're not watching that. For this van, it's really, really easy. All you're gonna do, there's one exhaust hanger in the back. It's kind of in this region. And then there's also a coupling here that we're gonna disconnect and put in the stainless exhaust. Um, shouldn't take, honestly, more than about 15 minutes to do this, unless you have some rusty stuff. Now this van, let me take you under. All right, now we're under. This is the coupling that we are going to release up there. That is the catalytic converter way up there up front, that big round thing. That is why our exhaust does not affect emissions at all. All of the emissions equipment is in front of us. We are simply affecting this back portion. This clamp, because this van is very new, uh, is not rusty and is gonna be fairly easy to get off. On older vans, it will be incredibly rusty and very hard to get off. You may end up having to cut it and get a new clamp, but for the purposes of this video, we won't. This is WD-40. You can also use penetrating oil. I don't know how different they are. I use, I use WD-40. You want to spray that on the threads here, the nut, a liberal coating, and then a bunch. Spray a bunch here on the actual connection. That will allow you to get the two exhausts apart much more easily. This is a 13 millimeter. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to set you down. Hey, look at the uh, plus side. At least I'm out of the rain a little bit. All right, so this, we're just going to start to release this. This will look much easier than it will be for you. You'll probably have some expletives and you'll fight this, but I'm just gonna loosen this easily and you can be jealous. <laughs> we don't need to take this clamp all the way off. We're actually gonna reuse it. So just slide this up. All right, right there. And then this coupling is gonna be a little bit tight, but I sprayed some WD-40 on it and let it uh, sink in for a few minutes. So now what I'm gonna do is take you and go to the back and show you where there's an exhaust hanger. This is the exhaust hanger. It's just a little rubber uh, boot that holds the exhaust on. Can, I'm like, okay, there you go. And this just slides right out. So all I'm gonna do is grab the exhaust and pull it forward, and it's gonna essentially fall out of that coupling back there, and then we can remove it. Once you get this rubber boot off, You'll be able to rotate the exhaust more. And then, up, oh, I can feel it, and then it drops. And then you just slide it out, just pull it right out the back. And then in here, right in front of the tire carrier is where you're gonna bolt in your new exhaust, or at least the new exhaust hanger. So now I'll show you the parts that come with the kit. We have got an exhaust tube right here. This is the stainless exhaust that we're gonna put in there. It's actually gonna orient kind of like that under the van. And then I'm gonna come over here. You'll get, again, as I said, it's raining here. So I'm gonna set this here while I open up your box of goodies. So in this box of goodies, you are going to get two stainless steel exhaust clamps. One of these is gonna be used to hold on the exhaust hanger and the other one is going to be used to hold on the tip. Wrapped up here along with your, this is going to be your exhaust hanger. Now, something of note, this is supposed to not be straight. So don't think that we have terrible QC. These are purposely clocked slightly because the exhaust doesn't run perfectly um, parallel to the hanger. So that is purposeful. And then in this bag is your actual exhaust. 
And if you're watching this video, you probably already found your instruction card. I'm gonna say this, please, 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 please listen. Stainless steel is fantastic because it doesn't rust. It looks beautiful. It's gonna make this exhaust last for a long time. Everything we put in here is stainless steel so it doesn't rust and look crappy. When you have a stainless steel bolt with a stainless steel nut, you have what's called galling. Anytime you screw this on, you generate a small amount of heat. The stainless steel will gall together, it will seize up, and it's essentially welded itself together. That is why we include anti-seize. So anti-seize goes on everything. In addition to putting it on that bolt that I just had, this one, you're going to pull out these things. And this already has it on it. See that gold or uh, kind of copper looking color? That is anti-seize already on this. If that is not on there, we try to put it on, but if it is not on there already, absolutely put this on the barrel there. Then you're also gonna wanna put it on maybe the last inch or so of this. The other thing I wanna warn you about anti-seize is a little drop will go everywhere. We'll get on your hands, get on everything. So have a paper towel around, try not to get it on your hands because it will coat everything. Um, the other important thing here, one of these, has these little, we call them Mickey Mouse ears, little bite-sized chunks. Why is this? Because this one is gonna hold the exhaust hanger on. You see how those slot in there? So when we ordered these, these ended up, what we specced was a little bit out of spec, but it's not a big deal. We're actually gonna be adding um, a 16, or excuse me, an eighth inch of material here so that this will fit and we won't have to notch those things for this to fit perfectly. There's plenty of material. I'm not worried about anything here, but the initial uh, shipments of the exhaust will have those notches. Later shipments won't. So if you um, are one of the first people to get these, uh, get the exhaust, you're going to want to line up those notches with the exhaust hanger. The other exhaust hanger will not have those notches, and you can see that it doesn't quite fit on there and lock in place. So we're gonna add the anti-seize. Then we're gonna take this, I dropped this earlier. This is blue bushing is gonna go in here. It should squeeze right in there. And then the scenario that this is gonna take is you're gonna have this bolt with the anti-seize on it. I'm gonna scavenge some anti-seize so I don't have to open that pack from this thing here. So you're going to take washer. This is going to go this way. So through the side with the tongue, bolt washer, blue bushing. You want this blue bushing centered. See that? Then another washer. Then what's gonna happen is this is gonna go through the frame, the unibody of the vehicle. Another washer. Nut, okay? So now we'll go under and do that actually under the van. But first we're gonna put this on the exhaust. So. I'm just gonna actually leave that nut on for a second. So this is actually gonna go in this short section here. So you can just slide this on to the exhaust. Oh, I got it backwards. It goes Mickey Mouse ears towards the outlet. Okay, so see how I did that? So now that's on there, so now we can actually tighten that a little bit and then slide this under as one piece. Okay, you still want it a little bit mobile. So I snugged it down, it's still mobile. Now we can take this whole thing and slide it under. Actually, I'm gonna come in from the back. you can see what I did there. We threaded this through. This is going to be centered on that bushing. And then I threaded it all the way through that chassis member and then put a washer and nut on the other side. And we're going to tighten this down until we get that nice and snug on that bushing. So now we got that bracket finger tight on the back. I'm going to slide up here. Again, I'm going to feed this onto here.
So basically you just want to get it on there to kind of hold it and then we'll go back and adjust the back one. All right, so now we're gonna be able to tighten this bracket. Tighten the bracket, we need a 9 16 and a 7 30 seconds Allen. Now we just got tight and as I tighten this more, you're gonna to wanna to kinda of center this in that hole and then as you tighten that, you'll see the blue bushing starts to kind of expand around. You don't need it a ton, just enough so that this is no longer mobile on that bushing. So you can test that by pulling on it, it's not mobile. This is still mobile on the exhaust so that we can adjust that how we want it. So now we can go up front and make sure we get that tight. But now with this loose, here, you can see what's happening here. This exhaust is too high, so we're gonna rotate this down a little bit because we haven't tightened that part yet. I'm gonna rotate this down a little more. Okay, and then we can slide the tip on to see how, how that's going. So then we'll put this here. Can you see that well? So now I'll go get the tip. So with the tip, we're gonna put this coupling on. And we actually, I put this on wrong. You wanna put the coupling on so that the bolt is on top facing the back of the van. So then this is gonna slide over. And then once you get this on, you can then rotate this up how you want it. So you want it pretty close to that pinch weld, about right there. And I actually kinda of like it about there. So the bottom of the exhaust is just past the pinch weld. So if you're not, uh, so if you're idling, the exhaust is still gonna go outside of the van, not under the van. If you have it way under here, then there's a potential for that carbon monoxide to get up under your van, which is obviously not what we want. So about here, so you can just kind of see the owl vans. I'll give you another angle here. Let's see how that looks. Um, and again, you can adjust this, but that's about the look we want. I think it looks really good. So I'm gonna tighten that up again. That coupling is a 13. And this one you're gonna to have to make pretty tight. I'll try to move you again. Because what you have to do is you have to collapse this part around the smaller tube. So at first, you're just gonna be tightening this pretty easily. So you want it just kind of the edge of the, um, the edge of this junction with the edge of the exhaust. That'll collapse it the best and hold everything tight. Okay, we're finally starting to get that tight, so now we'll use the ratchet. And it's when it gets really tight, that's why we really need that anti-seize on there so you can get this really tight and not seize up that clamp. So now this should no longer rotate, which it's rock solid, so we're done there. We're tight up there. We have not now I've got this tight. This is not rotating. I'm gonna tighten this. I'm gonna slide it a little bit down. Make sure we've got this exhaust all the way on. I'm gonna tighten this because I'm, I'm at the exhaust so I can measure how close it is to where I want it from the pinch weld. So now you're just reusing the same clamp you had last time. Might take a little work to get it over. Okay, now we're on. And then we're just gonna clamp it down again with a 13. That is basically it. We've got this all sorted. Okay, so we're tight under there. There's one last thing that we have to adjust and it depends on your vehicle. So again, four wheel drive, but it doesn't have, this vehicle does not have suspension yet. We've got a big build out. I showed you earlier how tight it is to the bump stop. Why does that cause an issue? Well, let me show you this bracket. Ugh, so tight in here. Okay. This bracket is touching the tube. So what we have to do is take this bracket off. It's a 10 millimeter. And we're gonna put a different bracket clamp on there and just move this up and zip tie it further up. And then you're gonna have the gap you need uh, to use the exhaust and not impact that little bracket. Okay, for this part of the install, you're gonna need this bracket, which is in your kit. You're gonna need some wire cutters or uh, clippers to clip some of these zip ties. 
up a little ways. Don't obviously clip the cables. Okay, and then you're also going to remove this bracket with the 10 millimeter. So this bracket, unfortunately, does not come off the cable. It has to be threaded on from the end, unfortunately. A very Mercedes thing to do. So we're going to take this off. We're going to slide that up. And then we're going to take this new one. I'm going to put it on the big cable. You guys see that? And then just slide it down over that same thing that was there before. If you want to help push that thing down, you can use your socket and push that cable holder down. And then thread that same nut that was on there originally back on. And then you're just going to tighten that nut down. Okay. So this is now what that looks like. You see we relocated that. Now we've got all this nice space. You're still, now you're going to want to go through, zip tie this back down, zip tie it back down up there to this other cable so it doesn't move. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to take that other bracket, move it up and zip tie it up there. So we're going to take this bracket, we're going to slide it all the way up to this bracket up here. And we're just going to zip tie those together and it's just out of the way permanently. And then we're going to zip tie these cables back together. Now again, if you've got the ground clearance of an aftermarket suspension, then you don't need to relocate that cable. This is only for vans without suspension. And you don't have to make the cable ties super tight. Just tight enough, they're not going to move. Clip off all the ends, obviously. And there you have it. So that, my friends, is a job done. We've got the bracket zip tied up to that bracket. And look at all this clearance now. You've got a nice amount of clearance. You've got less than a finger to the bump stop. And you've got almost three fingers to the axle. So you're good to go there. And that is, uh, as I get caught on my way out, and I will do this from the ground. It is now raining on me really hard. Uh, thank you for your support of Owl Vans. Thank you for watching this installation video. Hopefully when you're doing this, it's drier than where I'm doing it. Um, for our YouTube channel, like, subscribe, notifications if you want. Thank you. <laughs>